Thank you very much, Dr. Krellenberg, Dr. Koch, Dr. Marlborough Kraft, Mrs. Kurt, my dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to BOM here during the Bula Vinaka, we say, which means warmly welcome in Fiji. It's great that you have made your way to the Science Center of Bonn because there are a lot of other high ranking officials at um, the other events and locations. So I appreciate very much that you have just decided to come here, and it's important that we hear more about the process of climate change in urban areas, because roughly 50% of world population nowadays live in cities, and by the end of the century it will be 75%, and hence I will not blend in my efforts to make clear that the cities must make major efforts, not only here in Germany, where the commitment, of course, could be a bit stronger, I admit, and the representatives of the local communities who are present here, of course, they are an exception, but if we look at the presence and attendance of the German local communities dealing with climate protection, well, could be a bit better. And even the leading associations, such as the Association of German Cities and Towns and the Association of Local Communities, there is more they could do. So there is more commitment by the German towns and cities needed. Bonn hasn't a million of inhabitants, but at the global map it's visible because we have a very dense network of sustainability players. At least 20 UN organizations are located here in Bonn, which mainly almost exclusively deal with the subject of sustainability, but also 150 non-governmental organizations and scientific institutions that in Bonn and radiating from Bonn where are working for a sustainable future. Since the beginning of last week, Bonn has become the focus of global attention luckily enough, because for 10 days we, together with the Federal Republic of Germany and the Federal State of North Rhine-Westphalia, we've been hosts to COP23. 30,000 people have registered to participate at the climate conference up until yesterday, around lunchtime or in the evening. 18,000 out of the 30,000 have visited the Bonn or the Bula zone of the conference. And they will show their commitment for climate protection here and will bring it to the forefront. And in this connection, it's quite obvious that Bonn, as federal president Frank-Walter Steinmeier, when he used to be, still used to be foreign um, minister, and the Congress Center said, Bonn is the world city of sustainability and climate protection. So I'm very happy that you, the German Committee for Sustainability Research in Future Earth, organized this event. It's a publicly accessible um, event also in the city center, and you support this dialogue between science and practice. So now we deal with the subject of how do cities contribute to the implementation of the Paris Agreement and the Sustainable Development Goals, and I'm convinced that cities play a major role in this respect. And I'm at the first vice president of the global network, ECLE, which uh, will be dealing with resilience and sustainability and put it high on the agenda and will organize a meeting where mayors from all over the world will attend. Some more from Germany could attend it, I think, the Brazilian Cities Conference, which also next year will take place in the Gustav Stresemann Institute not far from here. Together with the state of North Rhine-Westphalia and the city of Bonn was the host of the climate summit for regions and cities. And this was a major success. And we have just talked about it. Our colleagues were there as well. And we had more than a thousand participants. And out of the thousand, more than 330 were really mayors, broad mayors from all over the world who came to attend this event. 
and we had very um, high-ranking people there, Jerry Brown, the now uh, governor of uh, California. But what was more important, the former uh, governor of um, uh, was there, uh, the former governor of California, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger, as well as Al Gore, who was attended a meeting on Saturday. So we had very high-ranking, very illustrious circle of attendants, which also played a major part in reaching out to people. And in the negotiations, the importance of cities and regions play a crucial role, and this is officially recognized because for the very first time this meeting took place in the framework of the climate conference itself. I think this existed since 1990, the cities meet in parallel to the climate conference, but it was the very first time that they are become an integral part of the conference, the cities and regions. And Patricia Espinosa, well, we owe this to her, to the Secretary of the Climate um, Secretariat, who was president of the climate conference when she was minister, still minister in Mexico. She was the president of the event, and she invited and included the representatives of the city, towns, and local communities. And here in Bonn, she makes great strides forward, and we are very grateful to her. Cities very substantially contribute to the reduction in CO2 emissions, particularly the carbon database which um, is held here and organized in Bonn, it says 1,109 cities are included here in the reduction targets. You can really see as a city where you are, what the latest state of the art, and you can also see what the other cities do and how they fare. And the reduction amounts to 1.3 gigatons per year. So I think this is a value where we need not hide uh, behind fences or so. We can clearly show how much we are interested in sharing uh, in the work. Bonn, since the middle of the 90s, has been very committed to climate protection, and our target has been and still is in accordance with the Climate Alliance to reduce CO2 emissions based on the value of 290 to reduce CO2 emissions by 20% by 2020. Mr. Helbig, he is our environmental officer at the um, city administration, and we can tick that off. We have achieved this aim. Is that, wasn't that in 2014 when we already achieved the goal? So I think we've even exceeded it. Also in the framework of a lot of projects, we are very much committed to climate protection and climate adaptation. We'll come back to this. Just to give you a few examples, we have electrical buses. Our whole bus and coach fleet should change to uh, electrical buses. We have six electrical buses, which when there is no COP, uh, do the ordinary um, public transportation. Here we use them exclusively for the shuttle services because we want our participants to go from A to B emission f in an emission-free way. That is why they are this week are not used and or in ordinary public transportation. The subject of renewable energies was also promoted by us together with our public utilities, our energy suppliers. We have got a mixture or a proportion of renewables of 69% where we are really heading the list in Germany. So the Bonn Energy Agency, which supports Bonn citizens to behave in an energy efficient way and that uh, helps them to uh, step up the energy efficiency of their homes and buildings. And we also go to the third classes of our primary schools and we have messengers and ambassadors going there and to tell the children how to behave in their everyday life and they will pass on this knowledge to their brothers and sisters and their fathers and mothers. So we have now 1,600 climate ambassadors who will see to it that this goes on. Though this 
little ambassadors may go on the nerves of their parents, I admit. And later, perhaps in the discussion and the round of questions, we will also deal with the question, or I don't know whether we have enough time. But on the one hand, we have to achieve the SDGs, and on the other hand, we want to make a contribution to stay below two degrees. And as was mentioned several times during the conference, if possible, below 1.5, so I mean two degrees or better, 1.5 degrees, and of course, after the COP, and not only during the COP, but also after the COP, we would like to be a good example of the fact that regions and cities are committed to climate protection. I wish you every success on your event, and I hope that some more people will find and make their way to this event, because it's very important to talk about this subject. Not only talk about it, but that also this will be implemented in practice. Thank you.